Well, ladies and gentlemen, just the other day, we ended up getting some Black Ops 6 Zombies gameplay, and it's shocking, it's kind of surprising to see everybody shaking, and people are bricked up, man. You got the homie Mr. Dalek JD, he was caught shaking as oh, well on the shaking. scene. But you're probably here not to hear this, right? You, you want to know the plot twist, right? I, and I get it, you want to know the plot twist, and you probably want to know what's going on. And guys, what else can I say, man? Everybody's like beefing right now. Suckers are beefing, beefing, beefing. Suckers are beefing, beefing, beefing with it. Because recently, everybody uh, who has seen the Black Ops 6 Zombies gameplay have seen some nice things about it, right? There are a few people that are like, hey, uh, I'm not necessarily hitting the G-spot, but I like it. Me gusta, right? But there's only the homie blame truth guys that is not happy we're talking about america's number one most toxic gamer and today he bought a lay some smackdown okay put your seat belts on clench your butt cheeks like the video if you're down for some free therapy tonight because yeah man this is about to be good i'm excited to hear him complain tonight roll it black ops 6 zombies looks amazing looks fantastic it, it really does it really does hey yo uh did i click on the wrong video man he's praising the game I want to start off this video by saying that because I don't want this to be seen as just me being negative for the sake of it. I want you to really- Okay, so he's gonna start slow. He's gonna start slow. He's getting to it. I'm, I'm excited, boys. I'm excited. I'm we excited. logically think here and really think Love about it. the current state of the game and think about the last four years or so since Cold War came out and, and try not to get too excited. Now, this okay. is a weird commentary coming from me. I'm known as the multiplayer guy. I don't even play Warzone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. For me talking about zombies, I think it's fair though, because I swear to you, I, I don't feel like in installing the game again to show you, but just take my word for it. I played Cold War Zombies like three, four times as much as Cold War Multiplayer, okay. because Cold War Multiplayer, in my opinion, sucked. So okay. I played okay. zombies and I enjoyed myself <laughs> in that regard. That was the one W I think I got with that entire experience of a But, okay, cut to the chest, brother. Cut to the chest, we get it. You liked it, but now you're gonna say, you don't like it, okay, you don't like it. Let, let us know. But uh, here's the thing, though, right? The, the homie, I'm joking around as well. The homie sometimes brings very good points, right? But of course, the homie Blame Truth is now seen as somebody who never likes anything, which is not true. He's now liking X Defiant, okay? <laughs> he, and, and I said it before, and I'll say it again. Guys, listen, okay? If somebody likes a game that I don't or that you don't, I'm happy with that, okay? I'm happy for this gentleman out here. I'm happy for Mr. Blame Truth, genuinely, okay? I'm like, Genuinely, okay? Like, I'm happy for this fella that he found his love and he found out that Extra Fine is uh, good for him. He loves Extra Fine. He loves Extra Fine. That's amazing, okay? And recently, it thoughts he has been loving Call of Duty as well. So, that's, that's pretty good, man. That's pretty good, man. Everybody got different tastes. So, different strokes for different folks, I guess. It'd be what it'd be, but... Uh-oh, wait for it. Game. And even then, it wasn't perfect by any stretch of the imagination. There we go. We only got one map at launch. It got kind of old playing that over and over, but anyway... You know, I, I do enjoy zombies. You can find a Kino Dartotin, a Black Ops 1 run on my channel, complete with the Xbox 360, like, jet engine noise that my mic's picking up. And that's from, like, 2010, okay. 2011. Uh, I'm a zombies fan. I've been a fan since it first came out. I was there in the beginning with World at War zombies, guys. Like, I'm a zombies fan at heart. And I'm seriously I'm seriously thinking that Black Ops 6 zombies is going to be utter fucking dog shit there at the end of the day. <laughs> There we go, man, I was ready for this moment, a moment, man. Okay, so one minute, 30 seconds in, that's when he starts. I love it, man, I love it, man, I love it. It has nothing to do with Treyarch, it really doesn't. Okay. In fact, I'm on the dev side for the most part. Now that I kind of know what's going on behind the scenes and I've took a peek behind the curtain, I realize, for the most part, it, it's not the dev's fault. It really isn't, at least Treyarch and Sledgehammer. Infinity Ward, yeah, they're just morons. But yeah. <laughs> Treyarch and Sledgehammer, I, I think that they are simply taking orders from the suits above and they have to put in stuff that they don't want to put in. Uh, I mean, duh. No, of course, uh, he right. He's right on this one. He's absolutely right on this one. Now, here's the thing though, right? There are a few things that I also did not like about the gameplay so far, and I get it, like, this is the, the first time we're seeing the gameplay, and it does look good. I have to be honest, it does look good, this is what I said, but still, when it comes out, that's when it's gonna be, you know, that's when we're gonna be able to really judge it, because from watching it, it does look good, I'm, and I'm happy for it, right? The multiplayer gameplay that they officially revealed wasn't impressive, but it was decent. But then we saw the league gameplay and everybody's like, hey, it's soulless. And, and I get it though, I get it. Like zombies, uh, multiplayer gameplay don't, don't look that good. Even though it's like PS4 gameplay, but what we're finding out right now, the graphics are gonna be better, of course, on PS5 and Series X. But what you have seen, if you have watched the league multiplayer gameplay, yeah, surprise, surprise, it has been leaked, everybody. It has been leaked, okay? 
If you have not seen it, it has been leaked and what we're now finding out, the multiplayer gameplay that we have seen in the leaked gameplay is from the final build of the beta. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. And generally speaking, Call of Duty betas are actual final game. The only thing that's going to be different in the final release is you're going to have more maps, uh, more guns, uh, and basically, essentially, you're going to have the full game at that point. But uh, graphically speaking, gameplay-wise, everything that you see or play in the beta, it's final, damn it. It's final, except for the weapons tuning. Yes, some weapons gonna get buffed, uh, other weapons gonna get nerfed, same applies to the perks, but yes, people saw that, people were like, hey man, multiplayer gameplay looking kind of soulless though. So a lot of people are divided and suckers are, uh, suckers are beefing, beefing right now. Everybody beefing, 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 beefing. And, and guess what, out of the blue, they, they announced that they're gonna drop the gameplay trailer for zombies and they did but alongside that they also dropped 17 to uh, 17 minutes to approximately 20 minutes of zombies gameplay and people are shaking what else can i say everybody's like bricked up after that and, and now you got the homie uh <laughs> brain truth kind of uh calling this trash as well which is fair not everybody's gonna like it and uh you, but, but so far zombies is looking way better than multiplayer and i really hope it's actually good because right now we're in the honeymoon phase right we have seen it looks good but is it gonna keep up with it is it gonna be relevant a month after launch two months after launch that that one is remain to be seen though on that one yeah we don't know wh whether it will be or not you know, from what I've heard this year especially, Sledgehammer even fought to tone down SBMM in uh, Modern Warfare 3. Activision said no, so there you go. But anyway, this isn't about the devs. I, I think Treyarch, zombies-wise, they pretty much never miss, and if they do miss... You know, it's it's not that bad. It's still better than every other attempt at zombies from the other two studios, yeah, for facts, example. Facts, facts, so facts. anyway, facts, guys, facts, facts. Black Ops Six Zombies. I'm gonna tell you right now. Take your expectations way the fuck down. Okay, <laughs> take them down. And I, even though I got said it looks it, great, it. Activision is going to ruin it. Okay. How do I know this? Look at the track record. Look at the past four years and tell me with a straight face that you as a Zombies fan have been treated well. You cannot. Mm. You cannot. Yeah. And, and this goes beyond. He ain't lying. He is not lying, guys. I, 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 I have to give it to him, man. I gotta be fair. I gotta be fair, okay? Go, go, I gotta be go, go, fair. Go, go, go. I, I, I love some drama. I love it when he gets mad. I love it when he gets riled up. It makes for good content, you feel what I'm saying? Like, it, it gives us, like, free therapy, and everybody loves free therapy, man. It's free therapy out here. Call of Duty videos are free therapy. I don't even get it why people go to therapy sessions, man. Why pay them, like, why pay those therapists? Why pay those sickers thousands and thousands of dollars when you can watch YouTube videos, YouTube drama videos for free, man? <laughs> You know what I mean, right? Like, just watch, yeah, Blame Truth's videos for free. And that, there you go, bro. There you go, man. All of a sudden, you're in a good mood, right? Yeah. All of a sudden, you're in a good mood. Unless you're you're somebody that takes video games, like, really, like, literally to the point where, for example, if you're somebody that loves Call of Duty to the point where you're willing to suck Activision's uh, Johnson, <laughs> their Schlong, their Dragon, their D, their BBC, uh, then, then, of course, right? Like, he's gonna get you mad. Then it's gonna be counterproductive. Then, yes, don't watch Blame Truth videos, all right? <laughs> don't watch it, man. That's gonna be counterproductive. But if you're somebody that is, like, easygoing, you can take jokes, uh, you're lighthearted and all that, right? You love the game, you don't love, like, the game doesn't really matter. Uh, yeah, right? Like, then you're gonna enjoy the videos and it's gonna be free therapy for you and all of a sudden you're gonna feel good, so... Yeah, free therapy, boys. Free therapy. This goes beyond, like, BT, stop complaining. Guys, I have watched my colleagues, and, and here's the thing, I don't know a lot of these people, especially in the zombies community, but I've watched my colleagues struggle. Anyone who does commentary on YouTube is effectively a work colleague. I have watched these people struggle trying to play the absolute fucking dog shit that has been given to them in the past four years. Facts. Why can't we just get Treyarch to make zombies uh, and not make it a yearly thing? Why not make it just a, I, I don't know, live service thing, kind of like Warzone? It's that good when they do it. It's that sought after when they do it. It would make Activision a ton of money. I don't get it. For the past four plus years, I mean, since Cold War, we have not had a proper zombies experience. We haven't even mm. had like a proper third mode, if you really think about it. Mm. Now, like, seriously, Vanguard zombies, embarrassing, <laughs> literally insulting that it even exists. Not, not Sledgehammer's fault. Not Treyarch's fault. All the fault goes to Activision. Mm. 100%. Guys, oh, Sledgehammer Games had eight months to make Vanguard. Then they yeah. hired like... A uh, wrong. Wrong. Van garbage. A few people from Treyarch to make essentially a mobile zombies experience. Embarrassing. Insulting. We should still be mad at that. And I'm mm. sorry for yelling. But tell me when I'm telling lies. 
That is not. Uh, yeah, you, you're not telling lies here, boo boo. I, I, nah, he is spitting facts. Brother is spitting facts, though. Brother is taking up on the chin and he's uh, spitting facts, man. He's doing it for the community, fellas. Yeah, no, he, he's uh, he's not lying on this one. Uh, and, and even, uh, I would go as far as to say that even Black Ops Cold War felt kind of soulless as well. Gameplay, good. It was better than Van Garbage and last year's Modern Warfare 3 Zombies as well. It was better than all that. But but still, it felt soulless because no zombies crew and they use multiplayer assets. Now, what we're hearing right now is that they're not going to be using multiplayer assets for zombies. So the zombie maps are going to be original. I don't know. I don't know how true that is, but that's what we're hearing, and I hope that's actually true. I hope that's good. Uh, that's true, because uh, then zombies gonna have a lot more replayability. Because uh, what these suckers have been doing for the last a couple of years is that they just make Warzone, and it's true, right? Modern Warfare 2022. Yes, the the, the game that had the. You know, the game that had the BBC bundle, the, the friendly UAV online, yeah, Modern Warfare 2022. That game, what these seconds did, Infinity War, they made Warzone map. And they took that, they cut sections from it, tuck, 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 made multiplayer maps from it, made ground war maps from it, and they even made the campaign from it. <laughs> why? You suck us crazy. And then they ask uh, why people give up on the game five months after or in, in this case like two months after i remember like a month two months after nowadays that's how it feels like right that's like the the call of duty life cycle after two months people are giving up on the game people are tired and, and you know seconds are complaining complaining seconds beefing 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 everybody beefing 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 after that and uh yeah they then they wonder where where the where the replayability is replay value there is no replay value so i'm glad that's the case because uh, yeah seconds want to get some new content man like if you're paying 70 bucks plus taxes usd that's paper that's for yeah man in canada it's like a hundred uh gets closer to 105 canadian man it's it's crazy man it's 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 getting wild it's getting pathetic out there and and still you do not get the full game you gotta buy battle passes you gotta buy microtransactions <laughs> you gotta buy this you gotta buy that to be able to enjoy the full experience so this time we're hearing original maps that's good to her not a 70 dollar premium experience in any stretch of the imagination. Okay. <sighs> then we got DMZ with Modern Warfare 2, which it was pretty good. It was actually pretty mm. good. And then they just nixed it. It's gone. It's done. <laughs> Why? I, I don't there know. There you go. There you Modern go. Warfare 3. We get DMZ zombies, essentially. Pretty cool idea in practice. But you know what ruined it? A, lack of long-term support. It was kind of just released and then forgotten about. We barely got any like new content for it. Yeah. And uh, B... The fucking servers are abysmal. From the moment the mode launched, people have constantly complained about packet burst and, and about you know their, their game crashing or getting booted from a server or whatever and losing all progress. It's just a mess. Here is my main issue with Black Ops 6 Zombies. It is always online on the worst fucking servers I have ever seen. And you might be saying that's like an exaggeration. Guys, I played from the moment the servers have started really messing uh, For context, right? And, and apparently we have a, a good news uh, from it. I'm not sure if he's going to mention it or not. This is what I heard recently. So he's not wrong when he said all of his online because this is something that we heard a couple of weeks ago, right? And there was massive fuss about it. I made a video. Everybody was making videos on it, right? Because, yeah, it, it it's uh, something that we heard. For example, we heard all of his online, right? For example, you're on round 99, you have spent hours and hours getting onto that, boom, your internet has a hiccup. Maybe it doesn't even have to be a long hiccup, right? It doesn't even have to be that you lost your connection, lost connection to your internet for an hour or something. If you just have a small like hiccup for, let's just say you lose connection for a minute, it happens, right? It happens. Guess what? Your game is done, so you, your game is done, so you're gonna get timed out, and all your progress is gonna be lost. That's what we heard, and you know what? Right after, everybody went crazy. Okay, oh man, everybody was talking about it, and rightfully so. People complained, and people criticized it, and absolutely, absolutely, we talked about it because, like, damn, homie, can a brother just get local play and offline support for this game as well? Like, damn, we're not talking about playing a multiplayer game. We're talking about playing zombies. Yes, uh, you got zombies that where you can play multiplayer but you also can play solo and offline we always had that back in the days local play i mean duh we had that so this is what we heard this is where we at so that's what blame truth is mentioning and this is what he means when he says all of his online but 
here's the thing though this news is now not uh, it's not yet mainstream but mr dolly jd while he revealed the gameplay he said shout out to mr dolly jd i heard this from him he said that there will be an option so for for example if you automatically automatically get disconnected from the game the game will auto save your stats <laughs> Th that's good I i'm not sure whether this is what's gonna happen but he mentioned it and i believe he got he was flown out and he did play the game early so i mean he has connection with activision right so i, I would believe him i would believe him but still this is coming from mr dolly jd so he said that he also did mention that even if you're not disconnected you can always quit and save your solo progress but you're only gonna get one shot one safe slot for it so let's just say you're on round 50 uh out, you got auto disconnected uh you can pick the game back up later on you're gonna get one shot for it and if you just want to quit the game by yourself you can also auto save it or not necessarily auto save it manually save it in that aspect in that case and you can pick back up so you're gonna save, save your round progress weapons pack punch all, everything that you can uh imagine right so that is good that is good that's what he mentioned uh, but it's remains to be it remains to be seen let's uh and and i don't and i don't blame blame for me if he does not if he did not hear that i, I don't blame him because uh, this is something that i got from watching mr dolly jd video i'm not sure if other youtubers mentioned i'm not sure if charlie into uh, until mentioned up. or not around vanguard i've played from vanguard until now somehow somehow these servers have gotten worse. I don't know if they switched the hamsters that power these pieces of shit to some half-crippled gerbils made in Phil Spencer's lab. I don't know. But the servers have done nothing but gradually get worse. Modern Warfare 3, for me personally, is unplayable. I have no issue with X Defiant. I get like 30 ping. You can see it up there in every one of my gameplays. I get a pretty consistent 30 ping uh -huh. no matter uh -huh. what. I'm perfectly fine with that. No hitching, no no uh, you know packet burst, no packet loss, none of that. And when people say like, oh, BT, you need to address the X Defiant netcode. Guys, I I'm showing you my gameplay. I don't really have any issues ever. Occasionally okay. I will. Okay. It's not perfect. Like occasionally like one out of 10 games am I have an issue okay. or something okay. like that with hit detection, maybe. But maybe. like my experience is pretty consistent and I am very happy with it after playing packet burst warfare for the past four goddamn years. So shut the fuck up about it, okay? I, I don't have issues. What do you want me to do? Let it all out, brother. Let it all out. Don't hold back. It's a therapy session. Let it all out. In regards to telling the devs, could the netcode be cleaned up? Yes. Could it be better? Yes. yes. I don't have much of an issue. I am perfectly fine with this. I, I swear to God. Uh, but, but like, didn't you mention previously, like, even if you're having good experience or bad experience, uh, it doesn't mean that other people are also having good or bad experience, right? Like, if you're having good experience, good. But... Other people are not having good experience, bruh. What about them, man? What about them, bro? What about them, me? What about them, me? God, I am. Hook my shit up to the polygraph machine. I'll, I'll testify. I am fine with how okay. X Defiant runs. I enjoy okay. these servers. I don't know what to tell you. Again, could it be better? Yes. Could it be worse? Yes. And I played it worse, and it's Modern Warfare 3. I oh, literally cannot damn. play the, the game, it, 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 even yeah, if I yeah. wanted to. It rubber band. Yeah, listen, man. Brother has been hurt. He has been hurt. Not genuinely, I, I don't even mean to be joking about it. Like, I, I was also hurt by Call of Duty, bro. You know, you Bruh. feel what I'm saying? You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, bro. Like, they dick us down badly, bro. Like, they dicked us down hard, bro. They they, they have been uh, dropping, like, L's after L's, like, bad games, duds after duds every single year. Yeah, so I, I feel him, man. I feel him. I feel him. Yeah, oh shit. Yeah, save and quit. Maybe Dalek is talking about it. You to save and quit a game at any time yeah, and pick real. it back up exactly where you left off. Every mm. player will have one save slot in Zombies for one solo match there where we go. you can save and quit at any time. And the save is automatically created if you disconnect from the game. So what exactly saves? Well, your quest status, your pack a punch level your armor everything will resume when you want to do so and it will resume exactly as it was this is intended for those that are going to be stepping away for an extended length of time they will still have solo pause but that's designed for a short break this is when you're going to be stepping away okay so that tells me that the solo pause is probably not going to be like a full-blown pause maybe a couple of minutes i remember van call of duty van garbage didn't even had like a solo pause a right. It didn't even had a solo pause, uh, and after people complained, they added a two hours solo pause. Like, 
<laughs> these seconds crazy man because back in my days bro you could have paused your game till your electricity ran out till you forgot to pay your electricity bill and they cut your electricity you feel what i'm saying that's how it was back in the days bro that's how it was back in the days but now these seconds cannot even put like a good pausing button so i, I feel like that it's gonna be still same but they're adding one uh save thing I, I think that's good that's good but what happens if for example right like your game is auto disconnected good it's gonna auto save and then you can pick your game back up but once you're in the game for the second time what if your internet cuts again what happens then you know what i'm saying because uh, what you know what i'm saying right because next time you're not gonna have the ability to save i feel like that they should give one manual save but they should have unlimited auto saves uh, before for basically if you get timed out you know what i mean if you get time out you're you have internet hiccups there should be auto saves unlimited but I, I i also understand they're probably not gonna do it because i'm assuming there's probably gonna be a way to trick it for example like i got ps5 so uh and even back in the days when i had ps4 ps3 i always have ethernet plugged in so ethernet cable uh, better connection right i don't want to rely on wi-fi ethernet better better connection so you can always pull out your ethernet cable and get yourself timed out that way so people are definitely gonna abuse it if they add that so there's no winning in that in a way the only thing they need to do is have normal solo pause okay and they also need to absolutely have local play local play that we have we used to have that back in the days where you you could play zombie solo and without needing internet right they, they need to have that they need to have that like the video if you agree dislike if you disagree fans me around every like five to ten seconds packet burst i cannot fix it i have no idea why i've tried everything under the sun i don't know what to tell you guys here's the thing here's the issue with black ops 6 zombies and why i'm so worried about this online only thing you can't even play it solo offline it, it's ridiculous which yeah. I, i'm so sick of this dude some people have bad internet some people don't want a lot of people dude you uh, shout out to david for subscribing now he not he ain't lying he ain't wrong i, I don't think he heard about the solo pause or uh, solo pause probably gonna be a couple of minutes or two hours Bruh. not talking about that but that one save slot i don't think he has heard that and that's fine i, I don't think that news is mainstream just yet to always be online some people don't want to pay for xbox live or psn or whatever yeah. some people yeah, yeah, yeah. maybe just want to play some zombies when they have like an internet outage and they can't and here's the issue here's the issue it makes sense that they've explained it it makes sense why it's always online let's check this out from game rant according to the same activision blog post that confirmed call of duty black ops 6 is always online requirement this continues yeah this is old news june 23rd so he likely didn't hear that but i think there's still some truth to it Black Ops, uh, this, continue, this continuous internet connection will apparently allow Black Ops 6 to use texture streaming. Yeah, they had something like that back, I, I, I believe, in Modern Warfare 2022 as well, even Modern Warfare 2019, to save your hard drive space. Because if you download uh, the full game and the high resolution texture pack, the game is easily gonna be 300, 400 gigs, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this thing is crazy man this thing is crazy but guys click on this video on the screen we had some big drama in the call of duty zombies community with noah j456 with mr t likes fight the smith place nick Merx also got his schlongs involved into the matter check this out this is absolute insanity and i'll see you right there if you already seen it then check out the video on the left we got some good news for gta 6